All right, today we have a clip here of Gutfeld, Greg Gutfeld's show, um, where Ty Tyrone, Tyrus, uh, the big the big wrestler dude who's totally not a Republican grifter, and that's not why he's there. He's there because he cares about America, totally. Um, talking about how he would snatch trans kids out of the pool if they are swimming in it. Um, totally normal stuff for adult people to say, touching children. Totally, totally normal thing. Um, but also... Greg Gutfeld gets very, very, very upset here that Keith Olbermann, Keith Olbermann, uh, <laughs> blocked him on Twitter. It's pretty hilarious, except for the uh, guy talking about touching children. That's not hilarious, but uh, here it is. Uh, Lee, welcome to the show. Are it's you always good to be back? They also have Riley Gaines, uh, the swimmer lady there. Um, that's what all of this stems from. Uh, just a little bit of background before I continue playing the clip. Apparently, back in on August 31st, Keith Oberman made a comment about Riley Gaines where he said, and I'm going to quote the whole entire thing, she sucked at swimming. That's the entire quote. And um, Fox News had a meltdown because of that. Em? <laughs> Did you? I mean, sitting here next to Riley Gaines, uh, <laughs> yes, but. Uh, How would you handle this issue if you were governor? <laughs> well, you know, New York just passed a... Why were they laughing at this? He just asked him a question and the audience laughed? There's got to be... There's there's the guy that's holding up the sign that says applause or there's a button with a... There's a light or something. He just asked him. He just said, how would you handle this if you were governor? And they fucking laughed. That's... You, what? What? I know that these people are not actually really laughing. There has to be somebody holding a sign. There's no way. This is worse than Bill Maher's audience. Who? <laughs> well, you know, in New York... <laughs> How is that funny? ...just passed a, a new law where they created a whole new gender called X. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of, like, agencies and state forms where you don't even have to be male or female anymore in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter... See. What do you mean you don't even have to be male or female anymore? Yeah, it's called gender's a social construct, dog. Did you finally figure that out? Guys, the conservatives are learning. Yay! Don't actually clap for them. They don't deserve Here, it. Here, I have twin girls. One of them is competing in swimming right now. Uh, she's not Riley Gaines, but she... she <laughs> My daughter sucks ass. My daughter fucking sucks. She's not nearly as good as this girl over here. My daughter just started swimming, and she's a fucking loser. She fucking sucks ass. Oh, way to throw your... Way to, way to fucking encourage your kid on live TV, dog. Damn, this dude's a fucking slimy piece of shit. Daughter under the bus. <laughs> she's on national For real. I actually agree with Greg on that the one. the first to, uh, to acknowledge that. I mean, she should be able to enjoy the experience without having to worry about men in the bathroom, the locker room, competing next to her in the swimming pool. What? That's... What, w tell me what percentage of athletes are transgender, please. Um, I already forgot his name. Tell me what percentage of athletes are transgender, please. Tell me what percentage, I don't remember how old he said his children were, but tell me what percentage of your children, who you said were not older than teenagers, your oldest one, what percentage of that population is transgender? Because if we're going to go by that, the number of people that are um that are very young, that identify as transgender, and then we're gonna go by how many of those people play sports, that number is astronomically fucking low, okay? It is so goddamn low. I, I mean, I, I don't know what the number is, but I know that it is unbelievably small. And just because you can uh, you know, tuck your junk into your Adidas onesie doesn't mean <laughs> that you should be able to compete Against my daughter. Exactly. I I've that also had, I've had Keith Ober. I mean, I'm, it's just like, the transphobia is so blatant. I, I can't get past, I, I can't listen to what you're going to say after that. Because you're just being transphobic for no reason. You're being transphobic because you have to do the Republican grift thing because you're here on Fox News. I can't take the, you seriously. And I know that this is Fox News and it's Gutfeld and these people aren't serious. And they don't deserve to be taken seriously. But... It's just like anything else out of this guy's mouth after that, it's just going to be me thinking about that weird shit that he said. Stop thinking about other people's genitalia, you fucking weirdos. Worry about your own cock and balls, if you even have them, motherfucker. Stop worrying about other people's fucking genitalia, you fucking weirdo. You're fucking weird if you're worried about what's in someone else's pants. You're fucking weird. Come after me. Yeah.
Stop worrying about other people's... Why are you thinking about little kids' penises, you fucking weirdo? Oh, God, icky, ew. I don't even, talking about you know, forgetting, I don't even remember what he went after multiple <laughs> times. I just feel bad watching this going after Riley. I feel bad watching you talk, man. God, this is terrible. Okay, I'm going to stop interrupting. Because, I mean, I'm not, the guy's but... a schmuck. Yeah. And he's like bitter because, you know, he lost to like De Niro and Rosie for, you know, the biggest <laughs> bag of 2017 competition. What did they just bleep? He said bag. Does he say shit bag or douche bag? What did they bleep there? I can't tell. Why are, what, what did they bleep? Bro and Rosie for, you know, the biggest <laughs> bag of 2017 yeah. competition. Petition. Also, no, he didn't. Keith Olbermann's great. I love Keith Olbermann. Keith Olbermann, actually, uh, I didn't know this, um, and I, I watch Keith Olbermann's Countdown podcast every once in a while if I can catch it, but uh, Keith Olbermann, is the, he's the whale guy on BoJack Horseman on the MSNBC channel. He's the whale news anchor, and I didn't actually know that until I had already watched the show multiple different times. Um, they're just jealous of him. They really are. They're jealous of Keith Olbermann because he's more successful than all of these people, and uh, they're jealous. That's what it is. Yeah. And, and Riley, you're a rock star. Keep fighting. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, my old. There, there, my there's, there's definitely, there is definitely somebody fucking back there holding up a sign, telling them to applaud. Not nothing, nothing that has been said so far is uh, deserving of applause. Nothing at all. They haven't said anything that's of substance, other than being transphobic. This guy is such a Everyone monumental. <laughs> and I Did he say pussy? There's so much bleeps. I've never heard Fox News. These anchors just, they're just fucking bleeping left and right. What are they saying? I stress. This guy is a you He's know saying the, pussy. The definition of a he is? Yeah. Bro, how many times are you going to say it? Pussy, 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 pussy. There, I said it for you. God damn. Yes. Blocking, <laughs> blocking somebody on Twitter and talking about them. And then not allowing them to respond because you've blocked them. He blocked me. I don't need, I don't need, I... To this day, I have no idea why, but I see the blo his block. I wonder. I have no idea why somebody would block Greg Gutfeld on social media. I have no idea. Now, I, I personally, like, I don't, I'm not going to block anybody just because I don't care enough about social media to go in and block someone. I really just don't care. The only person that I would ever block is, like, Elon Musk, maybe. Um, but I, I just... You know, <laughs> calling him a pussy because he blocked you on social media is really fucking funny. It's really, really pathetic. I mean, to say that that's a reach is an understatement. It's not even there. You can't call him a pussy because he blocked you. You are the one who's being a pussy because you're crying about it now on your own program. You're literally crying about how you can't see Keith Olbermann's tweets. Do you know how pathetic that sounds, Greg Gutfeld? Do you know how actually pathetic you are when you're sitting here saying, I can't read his tweets because he blocked me. Tweet and I can't read his tweets. And they're always <laughs> about me. He's a Sad. <laughs> oh yeah, he's the sad one. Tyrus, do you remember in the Olympics in the early 70s, the, the joke was about East German female athletes taking hormones and how that made them manly and it was mocked and now we, now we have to actually say, no, that's actually the future. <laughs> Where are they? Yeah, do you guys remember that? You guys remember that joke? Do you remember that joke? You guys remember that joke from the 1920s? Do you guys remember that? Does anyone in my audience, you guys, you guys remember in the 19, back in the 1920s, that joke? You guys remember that? When we need that. Exactly. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't have a Keith Olbermann story. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't pick on me for some reason. It's probably because you're a fucking nobody, dog. I don't even know your fucking name. What the fuck is this guy's name? Tyrus? Tyrone? He probably doesn't pick on you because no one knows who the fuck you are, dog. You're a nobody. <laughs> You're more of a nobody than I am, and I only got 4,000 subscribers. Fingers crossed, maybe after <laughs> this. Yes. <laughs> they, see, they're asking for it. They want this engagement because these people are losers. They're fucking losers, and they want someone as successful as Keith Olbermann to interact with them. They want that. It's like Stephen King and Dan Bongino fucking beefing on Twitter all the time. Dan Bongino thrives off of Stephen King quote-tweeting his tweets and responding to him. Dan Bongino loves it. Even though he gets shat on, he's an idiot. Uh, yeah, to, the comment the, to say that she sucked, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so these are the same people. Now, he, he, all Keith Olbermann said was she sucked at swimming. These are the same people, the conservatives, that say, you can't even have an opinion anymore. But what are they doing? 
They're literally, this entire four minute segment is them shitting on Keith Olbermann because he has an opinion. Tell me who the fucking hypocrites are once again. She did fight a trained man in a swimming pool to a, to a draw. She fought him with her fists? I thought she was a swimmer. Why are they fighting in a pool? Yeah. And he had her by weight, muscle. That was a joke. That was a joke. And length. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Let's not mm. forget that. Let's not forget that. Fox News has some dirty fucking mouths. You know how many people come down into my comment section, conservatives especially, and say, you have a dirty mouth, son. I can't really watch you if you're going to cuss that much. The only difference between me and these people is I'm not bleeping because I'm not no fucking pussy. I'm not a pussy. I'm not going to bleep myself. And I know they have to bleep for TV, but still. So that's... Their mouths are dirtier than mine. A lot of a lot of women would have probably been a little intimidated because I'm sure he was doing what men do, intimidate, stare down, all that type. If you yeah. watch it back, mm -hmm. uh, he was cocky. And, he, and she showed that it takes a super woman athlete to have to compete with them. My daughters all swim. And... It cool. Nice. I, no one cares about your daughters. You're just like the first guy. Who cares? Are you going to talk about kids' genitalia again? Yes, he is. If, and I go to as many meets as I can, mm. and I'm watching. Because I'll be the dad to get arrested for snatching one out of the pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it's just... Dads. It's, it's what it is. Like, we do this Trans Tuesday, and it, we do it... Yeah, I'm going to touch other... I'm going to touch children. That's literally what he just said. I'm going to touch children. That's what he said. That's literally what he said. He said, I'm going to be the dad that gets arrested for snatching one out of the pool. So you're going to touch kids. This is, uh, this, this is a panel of grown men talking about touching children and also talking about their genitalia. This is what Fox News is, ladies and gentlemen. Every week, we have more Trans Tuesday episodes than there's trans. Like, we need to... <laughs> they create this thing that is this giant thing. It is just, when it comes to these sports, it has nothing to do with that. These are just creepy men... Who can't no, you're a creepy man. You just said you were going to touch kids, bro, and you're talking about creepy people? Bro, you just said you were going to touch kids, and then you're sitting across from someone else that was talking about children's fucking genitalia. No, you guys are the creepy ones. Pete, who then tried to you Lock this man up immediately. The feelings of the, of the left to support them because they want to win. Mm -hmm. They're not there to make a statement. No. If it was about making a statement, they'd ride and pull off to the side like, I was just happy to compete and the women should win. But they're not. And yeah. it, it's funny because they don't have to get the change. Mm -hmm. They don't have to do the chopping. Yeah. So they, you just want them to lose on purpose? I don't understand. Yeah, right? But for some reason, they want our kids <clears throat> to chop. Yes. Because the definition of a woman is you don't know what it is, so why do they have to change anything? Right. What The definition of a woman, you don't know what it is. Ah, sick burn. Ah, the left doesn't know what a woman is. Ah, sick burn. Got him. Got him. Are they still on this shit? Really? Really? That's Why does it matter if we know if you know how to define a woman or not? I don't understand how this is a thing that the conservative runs. I don't understand how this is the conservative platform that they run on all the time. The left doesn't know what a woman is. Oh, okay, okay, and what? What do you? What, why? Why does that matter? <laughs> That's the craziness and ridiculousness of all this is. Let's just call it for what it is. It's just bad men wearing wigs and makeup to steal. It's not bad men just wearing wigs and makeup, dog. Shut the fuck up with that. Just quit with that shit, dog. Keith Olbermann, again, probably doesn't interact with you because you're a transphobic fucking nobody. You're a loser who sits on the Fox News couch who doesn't have his own show. Nobody knows the name of. And, you know, once again, just you're disgusting. You're a disgusting human being. Kill things from women because they can't take them from us. Yeah. yeah um, so that was Fox News. Greg Gutfeld. Um, I don't even remember anyone else's names for the life of me. I don't really care about remembering their names. But uh, that was Greg Gutfeld and his panel talking about child's genitalia and also talking about touching children. Um, that's going to be it for this video.